Hey, <clears throat> well, today I'm going to do what I would call for myself uh, a reveal. Uh, come out here and I pre dug the hole. It's, it's, it's a warm morning. I'm out here early in the morning before the heat of the day to do this. What I have right here beside me is a grafted tree uh, that I did earlier this year. Just let me check the tag here. This is the tag that I took off of there because the tag is going to be going on the enclosure overlease, March 15th, 2020. I'm out here in my fruit garden and this will be the first tree that I've planted, uh, that I grafted in the house. Well, now what I've done is I've allowed this tree down in the bottom here for this soil to dry out a little bit. And uh, that way, try to hold as much of that together as I could. It's a tall one tree pot. And by the way, the thing I found about these tall one tree pots, you have to utilize post hole diggers to get them in the ground, which bring it to the level of where the dirt is inside the pot. I loosened up the soil down there in the bottom, and I've loosened up the soil that I took out of the hole, and I'll put the soil back in there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look and see what it turned out looking like inside the pot. Still got moisture in there, but man, you can see the root fiber. Got some root to it. So, I'm going to gently set this down in the hole. And that just fell apart in there. Well, let's see if we can save her. I'm going to hold that up in place. Apparently I should have allowed it to dry more than what it did. I thought it was dried up enough. One thing I have to say about back here, in this area, down in the bottom, and being as I'm down in the bottom, I got really good soil down here. Now, make sure it's set on the shower and gently put water to it. And just let it soak in there. So the soil can compact down around that root. What I'm going to do is, is gently jiggle it up while the water's in there, and that'll help get rid of water or air pockets. Try to bring that level to where it should be. Now, let's throw a little bit more dirt in there. Today is the 4th of July, supposed to be hot this week, all week long it's supposed to be hot, up in the 90s, way above average temps, and the thing about it is me being, I'm off work this week, and me being off work this week gives me the opportunity to really stand on top of these pawpaws, because I have a lot of them in here that I had transplanted and uh, we're all doing well. It's been hot 
all week last week and uh, now we're in the heat it's time to really try to take care of these trees stay on top of them and let them get established now I had this in here on the porch trying to harden it off a little bit and kept it shaded uh, with probably sunlight about an hour real early in the mornings in the cool of the mornings grassy grass roots rather try not to rush this. I'm going to take my time with this put a lot of work into taking care of these seedlings and grafts because this right here is a seedling from last year that I grafted into so it's young and tender more grass root. Add a little bit more water to it. You know, what I'm after out here is all known uh, varieties of uh, pawpaws and all of them are marked and as they get to growing I'll try to keep the markers on them so I know exactly what they are maybe draw me a little map in the house there on a piece of paper mark each one that way I know what I have out here that's a nice looking little tree. It just needs time to grow. I'm not even going to try to pack it in. I'm just going to let it settle itself in place. He's up there high enough. I ain't got to worry about that. I just want to make sure that you get all the air pockets out of there as much as possible. I'll come out here later on and check on it, see how it happened. You got to make sure that soil is loosened up. As you can see, that soil has been loosened up pretty good. A couple little tiny clods here and there that I can pinch and put in there because those clumps will create, uh, they'll create daggone air pockets, and I don't want no air pockets. A little bit more water on top of there. There you have it. Move this out of my way. Overlease makes two overlease I have out here. One came from the Paw Paw Festival and this one right here that I grafted. I have other grafted trees. I gotta wait for them to uh, mature a little bit more. They were grafted later. Like I said, that never grafted the middle of March and here we are the 4th of July. So it's been over two months since uh, I've done this. Actually, it's been over three months. So the stem got a uh, brownness to it, which, you know, that indicates to me 
it's ready to go into the ground. Now, have my little hoop here, a little enclosure, so you can say, and we're going to see how it's going to work out here. Try to be gentle with it. Protect it from the sun. Keep the sun from scorching that. Oh. Here in a little bit, I bring my hammer out here and tap that on down into the ground so it's stable. Now I'm gonna put the tag on here and I want to put the tag on here in such a way that whenever it's flipped out I can see it flip it down inside the cage where the sun don't bleach it all out so is that gonna work this way we'll see yeah overlease there it is. I get my hammer and tamp down into here and get this situated and brace it with the uh, zip ties that I have. Anyways, just wanted to share with you what's going on here. Hopefully, uh, I'm successful. Uh, so far, everything's been looking pretty good. The cage will shade it and not to mention, as I hose out here, water these, I'll spray on these cages to keep them cool inside to kind of help relieve stress on these little pawpaws. Well, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. And don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Y'all have a God-blessed day.